All right. So everybody wants to know how I make these uh, NFL helmets. All these right here. All right, so basically, you got your helmet. You just get a regular old helmet. Uh, the hardest part really is just getting these stickers off that have been there for like a long time. So basically, if you use Goo Gone, and uh, it'll help you pull it up. Uh, still kind of hard, but get like a knife or something like that, and it should come off pretty easy. Um, a Ziploc bag so you can put all your parts in. I recommend using a power drill. It gets stuff off easier. You got your decals where you can get from eBay. Um, roughly maybe 15 to 20 bucks depending on uh, how how much uh, detail you want for them. As far as the back bumpers, the side pieces, uh, the strips, um, the American flag. Sometimes it'll come with the NFL sticker and all that. It just depends on the package you find. Uh, I already have a helmet here. This is the one we're going to turn into uh, the San Francisco 49er helmet. I also recommend getting a pack of baby wipes um, that will help clean all the dust and everything off the helmet. You want to get all as much dust off of it as you can. Um, this one's pretty clean. Uh, one ahead, we already took the... Uh, stickers off of there so now we're gonna take it apart all right now got it all apart okay guts there you got the hardware in the bag um, all your you know button fasteners and uh, the brackets for the face mask um, the helmet should be just the shell itself um, it doesn't matter that the velcro and all that stuff is in there you're not gonna see that once you put the guts back in there so it doesn't matter if the paint sprays it a little bit uh, also, you got your face mask here. We're going to paint that. Also, so now let's take it out into the uh, garage and let's get this stuff painted. Alright, now we're in the garage. And uh, this is where I do the uh, painting. Um, real easy setup. You get a piece of old furniture. Um, it's got a backsplash on there, so basically your paint doesn't you know, go all over the place. Um, paint does get dusty, so, you know, but you can, as you can see, you can kind of like sweep it up after you're done you know so um but yeah what i have here is one of those cake uh things called a lazy susan got it from walmart um sit on here i use foil to cover it and uh that way you can you know just spin it as you're spraying the helmet that way you don't have to touch it while it's wet so and then uh for the face mask um just little bungee hooks that I get to suspend it in the middle of the air basically like so hook it like that take the face mask hang it just like that and you're able to spray alright for the 49ers helmet um, here's your paint you got your primer your gold, your classic gray for the face mask, and then you got your clear coat. Um, I recommend Krylon myself because it dries fast and it already has primer in it. Um, so it's almost like after you put the first coat of primer, when you pr put the uh, actual paint on there, it has primer in it too, so it sticks better. So with that said, let's uh, go ahead and I'll lay a coat of primer onto the uh, 49er helmet. And as you see, like I was saying with the Lazy Susan, you can spray it and spin it. Um, that way you don't have to touch it at all to move it. Okay, we have it all primered. Um, make sure when you're holding your spray can, for people that don't spray paint much, make sure when you're spraying, you're spraying at least, mm, I put about a foot between uh, the can and the helmet, and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it's a nice smooth coat. 
A uh, good thing with primer is sometimes uh, paint will shoot out um, kind of rough and leave, if you can see, like the little rough uh, little flakes on it. Um, once the primer dries, all you have to do is just take your finger and just rub it and usually it comes right off, uh, just flakes off and it really doesn't even mess up the primer. Um, same thing with the uh, face mask. It's all primered up and uh, we'll let that dry for maybe, I don't know, about 20 minutes and um, they'll be ready for the uh, coat of paint. Alright, it's been about 20 minutes uh, so should be uh, pretty dry from the primer. So, yeah, it's dry so just a little bit of dust off of it so what we're gonna do now is spray the uh, 49er helmet with the uh, Krylon gold and uh, the face mask with the what did I put? the classic gray no that wasn't classic gray that was primer there we go the uh, classic gray Krylon paint All right, it's getting dark in here now. All right, I sprayed the gold on there. Um, I flip it like this sometimes because uh, sometimes you'll miss the back here. Down here would be the different color and everything like that. Went ahead, I did the face mask already. It's got the classic gray over it. Uh, as you can see, it's still kind of glossy, so um, we're going to let that dry. And uh, once that's dry, then we'll lay um, clear coat over it so it keeps the paint from peeling when you put the hardware back onto the uh, the face mask and then also we'll go ahead and uh, we'll clear coat this that way if you do have to lift up your decals because maybe one touched in a spot you didn't want it and you, you're like oh crap I gotta pull it back up it's not gonna pull your paint along with the decal just make sure you're pulling it up nice and slow all right now it's all, uh, as you can see, it's got a high little gloss to it, that nice little shine. That's the clear coat. Put maybe a, a coat and a half uh, to about two coats on that. And uh, it gives it that little, that shine to it that you see right there. You would think it's wet. You give it that little wet look. And, uh, yep. Um, so we're going to let that dry for a little bit uh, along with the face mask over there. And, uh, Take it in the house and lay the decals on it, put it back together, and uh, show you the finished product. 